six ways of uh, getting the purchase requisition or purchase order approval. So because requisition is not approving, but it is the exact same from purchase order. So we will go one by one. So this auto approval we have already seen. You can see multiple times. So now approval by worker, approval group. We will try to see today. And rest of them we will see tomorrow. So what we mean by approval by a worker. So for that, what I need to do is I need to create another user. Okay. So for that, what I'll what I need to do is I need to go to security console because if I am if I want to get it approved from some another user. So in that case, definitely I need to have another user F two F one. I'm just you know noting it, noting them down. So F two F. Then I'm hope you are understanding why I'm creating another user. Okay. So Control X. So I'll click on Add User Account, and we'll put F two F one. And same, I'll say. Call one, two, three. Click on Add Role. Only employee role is enough because he is just going to, you know, approve it. Nothing more than this because that person is going to be approver of the same, not anyone who is going to raise it. So I'll click on Save and Close. and and we'll come to here so now i'll move to my approval rules setup and maintenance we'll go to procurement we'll go to approval management and purchasing documents approval this rule i will go to edit rules and prachi your question was why do you have so many things so i'll i'll tell you the reason just uh, you know go with the momentum and we'll cover it at when it times comes time comes so now our rule is f2f so here now condition is fine now related rule related stuff will be available in the actions so i'll go to this edit icon so instead of automatic i'll say approval required and here i'll say single approver and here i'll say worker and that worker i think uh, i need to f2 f one will not be appearing here until unless i make uh, that one at least a business user okay just now i what i created i just created one employee so can someone tell me from where i make a legal legal you know employee from where i can make that uh, from manage users yeah excellent who was he uh, shubham who was he? shubham very good shubham so i hope uh, you are doing some practice offline that's really good so manage users so i'll go to keywords and i'll try to why this plus sign is not coming ah what happened was manage users yeah now I click on plus. So last name was F two F one. Okay, email ID I am just putting at the rate of gmail dot com. And because I have already created the account, so I'll just link that directly from here. Also, we can create the account. so i am just linking that account with this user and person type i will select employee yeah. 
legal employer i'll again i think i have noted it down so what was that 30 vision america business unit is our f2f so if ah what happened here thank god things are still there otherwise i need to to put them again f to f what is that mm -hmm. employee it's weird <laughs> i uh, as soon as i'm putting it's not taking it so no worries you know sometimes those kind of issues will face uh, in fusion cloud frequently so now in manage user click on the same manage users click on plus so it was f2 f1 dot com link user account okay so here i select him as employee legal employer will be my 30 vision america no employee model exists why boss everything was good about this no employee model employee model exists mm. those are you know some of the hcm related stuff no employee model exists for the legal employer so let me so let me check few things which i can otherwise you know we will end for today so we'll try to sort it out mm, give me a second legal employer i'll go to setup and maintenance we'll go to financials legal structure and manage hcm legal entity hcm information legal entity i'll add and select and then apply then go to task and i select mine Thirty Vision America search seven close correct. Normally we should not come to this area. This is core HCM area, but. Uh, but 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 sometimes there are bare minimum things which i can check so this looks okay and details Second, nope. Here it looks fine. Uh, what else I can check is illegal entity. Uh, entity. Same information. Give me a second. This was the place I remember.
बहुत बदलती है ना या पेरोल स्टडी थ्री यूनिट कैन समन हेल्प मी वेयर यू नो वी यूज टू हैव दिस लेजिस्लेटिव डेटा ग्रुप और समवेयर यू नो देर वॉज वन चेक बॉक्स विच वी नीड टू चेक टू मेक इट ए यू नो पेरोल स्टेटरी यूनिट एज वेल आई डोंट नो वाई आई एम नॉट टू गेटिंग दोज थिंग्स इन लीगल एंटिटी आई गेस ओके दिस इज एट दी मैनेज लीगल एंटिटी ओके मैनेज लीगल रिपोर्टिंग यूनिट एल आर यूज नो 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 दैट विल नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड सो मैनेज लीगल एंटिटी लास्ट ट्राई वी आर डूइंग अदरवाइज वी विल ट्राई टू आई ट्राई टू सॉर्ट इट आउट लेटर apply and go to task we didn't face this issue last time we created user two days back only but no no search save and close so that is there already Okay, so for the time being today we will wind up the session because I do not want to you know move into something which which might take infinite you know time. I don't know. Normally we can find legal reporting unit. Who? What is our legal entity reporting unit? L R U. This one. See it close. I don't know if this will make any difference. I am not sure. Hmm. The last thing, if I can submit it, I'm not sure. Okay, at all. Request was submitted. I'll log out and log in and try to you know see that users. Otherwise, in next one minute we will wind up the session. F to F. So I'll go to manage users. Bye bye. users click on plus uh let's do one thing apps to apps to f1 and email something at the rate of gmail.com i date and all fine here i'll just link the account search okay person type is legal Okay thank you for your time we'll I'll try to sort it out and we'll see it later okay